1975, the U.S. Air Force announced it would offer a test program to see if women could serve as pilots. Ten women were selected. Those women were recently honored as Air Force trailblazers. But women still make up only a small number of military pilots. There's even fewer black female military pilots. Women were not allowed to fly combat missions until 1993. The Air Force graduated its first female black fighter pilot in 1999, and the Navy graduated its first black female fighter pilot July 7th of this year. In those early years, I thought less about the aspect of being a minority from the perspective of my ethnicity. And what stood out to me more was um, the challenges that came into play with being a female, um, you know, because at the time we were still just trying to figure out how to have women in fighters. And um, we were talking about like equipment issues, things didn't fit right um, as we're crossing over to um, Kuwait, uh, not having a way to successfully go to the bathroom, you know, and trying to figure out the details of those kinds of things. Um, and then, you know, sitting 24 hour alert, how is that going to integrate um, with a male and female scenario? And so all of those things were um, exacerbated the challenge of just being a minority female in the community. The women who broke the gender barriers in the Air Force understand the challenges for female pilots in the military now, and they say there's more work to be done. There's those restrictions aren't there anymore. Your talent, what you bring and what you want to do, that is what, you know, we need to promote. I, I believe boys, girls, black, white, I, I try not to look at color. I, I really try not to because I've been on, on the other end. Um, my first flight, my flight engineer looked at me and he looked next to me and he talked to me in the third person. He goes, somebody ought to tell her to move her flight bag over here. Somebody tell her that she should move her kit bag to here. Somebody tell her that she ought to do this and that. That's how he talked to me for the, my first three-day flight. And, and I sat there and I thought, you know, I'm just going to show you that I can do this job. And two years later, again, I flew with the same gentleman. And, um, and I almost walked out of the briefing room because I thought, Am I going to put up with this crap? And then I thought, you know, I'm going to show the son of a bitch how I can fly this airplane. What I've learned in two years. And then we, we went to the club later on and, and we drank some beers and I looked at him and I go, what the hell were you thinking? You know, and he goes, I just wanted to see what, what you were made of. Retired Lieutenant Colonel Mary Livingston, one of the original trailblazers, taught men to fly combat fighter tactics she was not allowed to perform herself. And so they're looking at a woman and they're going, how can this person actually teach me to be a fighter pilot? There was one student that I had and he was about six foot two, just about the max height you could be to be fitting into the cockpit. So, and you know, so he was a, he was a pretty big guy and I was five foot four, a real lightweight. And so he's convinced that he's going to be able to fly this aircraft much better than this lightweight. And so we, you know, and I, and I see it coming. And so, you know, with my normal sense of humor, I just sort of, you know, smile. And we get to uh, the number one for takeoff and you're supposed to run up the engines to max power and check all the in engine instruments which means you have to hold the brakes he couldn't hold the brakes anyway so <clears throat> i take the aircraft and of course i immediately get the aircraft to stop and i get it all lined back up again and he really you know stops on these brakes he puts the power up and the aircraft just skitters down the runway E, e, e. I mean, it really, it skitters. And I let him try about three times and he cannot hold the brakes. So we take off, you know, I finally say, okay, I've got the aircraft, I'll take off. And then after we took off, I gave him the aircraft. And of course, during the flight, he can't, you know, there's a lot of things he can't do. And I'm instructing him and doing all of that. And, you know, and we, we land 
and we go in for the debrief and he goes, okay, how is it that I can't hold the brakes and you can? I said, you know what? There's a lot that I can teach you. And there's a lot that we can do together to make you be a successful pilot. And I said, so are you ready to start? And he goes, yes, (laughs) ma'am. So I think sometimes when you see a woman or a minority woman in a career field and she's maybe the sole one or, or part of a minority, there is a tendency to think, oh, well, she must be an exception. You know, there must be something exceptional about her. Like she just must be smarter or she just must be, you know, uh, more talented in this regard. And, and that's what I would like to dispel. I want girls to look at me and say, I can be her. 